sign us is almost a month ago. 24 days ago, 25 days ago. But I'm going to do my personal take on the Fiesta Bowl between TCU and Boise State. And I'm a TCU fan, so obviously it might be a little bit different from, uh, you know, Boise State fan's point of view, whatever. So, let's get this started. First of all, great game overall. Just I was glad to be there. TCU's first BCS appearance was just a great experience. Wish they would have won, but they didn't. I think the nation is pretty much grading TCU on this game. So they don't watch TCU every week. I do. TCU's offense is um, running the ball, play action, and bootlegs. Running the ball in this game. They ran the ball 10 times for 39 yards, which is 4 yards a carry. So that was a pretty good running game, except for the fact that they only ran it 10 times. 4 yards a carry. Very few times I saw us running the ball. It was probably for a really decent gain. But for some reason, the offensive coordinators decided, hey, let's have Andy Dalton throw it to the sideline and get two, three yards every play and go three and out, or maybe get one first down and, you know, their offense was dormant. I think the defense did a good job. One touchdown near the end of the game, um, they gave up a field goal. The defense has been good all year. No complaints about the defense. Jerry Hughes got, I wouldn't say he got shut down, but he got, um, he got slowed down. And I give all the props in the world to that offensive lineman from Boise State. He did a real good job. Drop passes. Oh, man. In fact, uh, maybe it was on the second to last drive of the game. Antoine Hicks, he's, he wasn't wide open in the end zone, but, I mean, it was a good pass. He would have been a touchdown for sure. Drops a pass. And I remember right after Boise State had went up 17-10, we came out, Andy Dalton came out throwing three drop passes in a row, three and out. That would have all been first downs. I think part of it's nerves. As I said, it's their first BCS game. They've never, they never been there before. Boise State had, and they showed it. I don't think either team really played that well. I think Boise State's better than they played, too. Obviously, their offense is supposed to be high-power offense and all that, but they only scored one touchdown. So, And they also got about half that last drive on that fake punt, which, as you probably saw in my earlier video, I called it the gutsiest play I've ever seen because I'm pretty sure they were on, like, the TCU 30, and if that had failed, TCU would have won because it, that sort of momentum swing, stopping a fake punt, and getting the ball back, say, on the Boise State 45, you know, I mean, that would be, that would have just changed the game. But nope, didn't get it. I'm not entirely disappointed. I mean, obviously I was really disappointed at the end of the game because we lost and all that. But, I mean, the next day, I'm looking forward to next year. You know, next year we got uh, Oregon State to start off the year in Cowboys Stadium. I'm going to that game. Uh, we got Texas Tech at Texas Tech. We got SMU. Well, that's an easy win. Huh. <laughs> I mean, we got a great season coming up. Andy Dalton's going to be a senior. Jeremy Curley's a senior. We're always stacked on defense. I don't see any any lacking in this coming year. I'm just I'm really excited about what we did this year. I'm not happy about how we finished. Besides that, I mean, I got nothing else to say. I never really made videos like this. I've watched people make videos like this. That's all I gotta say about CCU. And you know what? Maybe I should start making sports videos like this. They're pretty easy. I just sit down and turn on the computer and say what I wanna say. CCU!